pronunciation is the soul and heart of language. In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about some of the most important English words which are generally mispronounced by the people or the students. Hey, good morning. A very morning, students. Your teacher and brother is here back again with a new lesson. So without any further ado, let's get started. So our very first word is women. W-O-M-E-N. Women. People get confused. Generally, most of the students get confused by the pronunciation of this word. They call it as woman. 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 Generally. So it's not woman. Just because here M-E-N is there, the thing, the pronunciation is woman. No. The pronunciation here is women. The sound of O turns to E and it becomes here I, women. Please repeat with me, women, women. So our very next word is comfortable. It's comfortable. In this again, the students get confused by pronouncing this word. You think just because here T-A-B-L is added in this word, you think table, the pronunciation will be table. You call it comfortable, right? But no, the right pronunciation over here is O-R, we express the sound O-R, A and E. And we call it as comfortable. Com Comfortable. Comfortable means keep practicing along or later you can repeat but do pay attention. So here comes our very next word garbage. You would have seen generally we uh, in your societies there is a place where all the garbage is being collected or thrown around. Right? So what do you call it as? We get confused with this word age. Age and we call it as Garbage. Maximum people call it as garbage, but it's not so. Here, the sound of R and H is pressed and it becomes garbage. Garbage. It becomes G A B I J. Garbage and not garbage. So please do practice. It is not garbage, it's garbage. Okay, so let's move to the next word. Ooh, February. My birthday falls on 10th of February. Here again, you get confused by the pronunciation of this word. Maximum students of people are heard calling it as February. February. No, the correct pronunciation of this word is February. 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 Please keep repeating and practicing along. So you get it right, the pronunciation of February. Here, let's move to the next word, fifth one. This is very sweet, sweet word, right? Have you ever visited the restaurant? And what do you have at the end of the meal? You take some dessert, right? And now here you get confused again whether it is Dessert or dessert, B E double S E R T. Maximum students get confused with the spelling along with the pronunciation of this word. Although this means is very sweet, so it's something to have some sweet dish, right? But you don't know the right pronunciation, you get confused with it. So, here the correct pronunciation of this word is not desert but dessert. Please pronounce along dessert. Dessert. Getting right? Okay, good. Keep practicing along. So, this is the word next time when you use to take some sweet dish after your meals or after your dinner. You call it as dessert. Here comes the next word. Wake up. Wake up. Do you have a car, scooter or scooter at home? Yeah, what we call to them? Wake up. And what I have heard generally people calling it, they have a lot of confusion at the pronunciation of this word. They call it as vehicle. 
vehicle, vehicle, what I've heard, right? Even you can guess yourself what you call it as. But here again, I would tell you the right pronunciation is akal, akal, vehicle. The right pronunciation of this word is vehicle, right? Vehicle. Got it right? Next time, don't call it as vehicle, vehicle. It's vehicle. Vehicle. Okay? You need to practice. Practice makes a man perfect. Okay? So keep practicing along. The very next word is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Or you might be thinking, no, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Generally, people call it as Wednesday. And maximum students call it as Wednesday. So, my dear student, it's not Wednesday. Here, the sound of B and S. B is, G sound is clutch here and S sound turns into Z. Here, the S sound turns into Z. And we call it as Wednesday and not Wednesday. It's Wednesday. You getting me? Okay. Keep practicing. I'm reminding again and again. It's Wednesday and not Wednesday. So our very next word is Anya. This is the veggie or vegetable you can say found in every house. Every vegetable you cook at home, uh, any vegetable that you cook at home is incomplete without adding onion to it. And now you might be thinking why I'm asking about this. Again, maximum students call it or pronounce it in the wrong way. It's not onion here, it's onion. What it is? It's onion. Here, O turns into a, and the pronunciation is onion. Again, both the O are pronounced as a over here, and the sound while pronouncing becomes onion and not onion. So please students, don't, con uh, don't get confused while pronouncing this. It's onion and not onion. Very good, keep practicing along. So next word is almond. A-L-M-O-N-D, almond. Everybody likes nuts, right? Dry fruits? Maximum people are the dry food lovers and they are very good to have in winters. They keep our body warm. And one of my favorite and maybe yours too would be almond, right? But do you know the right pronunciation of this word? No, I guess. Or some of you might be for sure. It's not almond. Just because here L is there, you call it as almond. But my dear students, it's not Almond, it's almond. Please repeat with me. Almond and not almond. It's almond. Very next word. Today we are going to just practice 10 words. Okay? So our last word is tomorrow. Tomorrow. So the next day that is coming after today's day, the very next day, like tomorrow, today is Thursday and tomorrow will be Friday. So the next day that is coming, we call it as tomorrow, right? Here the spelling of tomorrow is T-O-M-O-R-R-O. -R -R so here again, you get confused while pronouncing this word. We call it as tomorrow. Tomorrow. No. Yeah. The right pronunciation has a very long, slight difference. Tomorrow. 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 So students, call and practice it as tomorrow. So this was the session and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please keep practicing and please keep practicing and learn the right pronunciation of these words. Stay home, stay healthy, good day.